Hi guys, today we're going to go ahead and learn how to install a custom ROM on the OnePlus 6, um, all the AOSP ROMs. Now, you can go ahead and use the regular ROM installation method, but what I found out with pretty much all the AOSP ROMs, uh, it breaks camera, um, your sound can actually be very low, um, and a bunch of problems. So, th it took me a quite a while to figure this out. Uh, it does involve a lot of steps. You do need to actually use your computer to reflash twerp. Um, we also need to install the latest firmware. But if you use my method, everything will work out of the box. A lot of the major stuff like video camera and stuff uh, will work. So let's go ahead and take a look. Hi guys, you will need a bunch of different files. You can go ahead and download all of this. I'll go ahead and explain here. Um, but basically, you're going to need to get... First thing we're going to flash is the OnePlus a firmware. This is the official latest firmware I got off OnePlus site. Um, also, you'll need a side barrier ROM, the latest version. I got V2.8. And also, you'll need G apps. Get the uh, get it from OpenGApps.org. Um, also, you need Majisk, right? And also, you'll need Twerp Installer. And also, you'll need um, if if you want Google Camera, go ahead and grab the Google Camera, and also the OnePlus Camera APK. I think the ROM actually comes with it, but you can download it just in case, or you can download it later. But make sure you have all of these files on your phone. Now, let me go ahead and go to my computer and explain uh, where to get these files. All right, go to my site, highonandroid.com, and go to uh, the Siberia ROM, best custom ROM for OnePlus 6. You can just Google this, or just I'll put the link in the description. This will have the video showing you all the stuff that um, this ROM can do, why I love it. And um, all the files you need, you can find it here. So the first thing, like I said, you'll need to get the firmware. Now you can download all of this on your computer, or you can also download it all on your phone, right? It's up to you. But you will need to use your computer to reflash twerp. That's the only way you're gonna be able to install this, and I'll explain why. Um, so go ahead and download the latest version for OnePlus 6, and you can just get the official version, right? Um, go ahead and download that. I downloaded that. Um, also, you'll need uh, the actual Siberia ROM, so go ahead and click there. And go ahead and uh, find OnePlus 6. And go ahead and download the latest one here. Alright, so... It will... Um, you see right now, as of this video, it's V2.8, but it could be 2.9, um, 2.10, whatever. Alright, um, also you'll need gapps. Go to opengapps.org. And I do recommend just getting the Pico. Uh, ARM64, grab uh, 9.0 and Pico and download, all right? That'll give you G-Apps. Also, you need a Magisk. Grab the Magisk V19.3 or whatever the latest one is. Um, also, you'll need a OnePlus Camera APK. Go ahead and grab that. Oh, by the way, uh, these download links at APK Quick um, are going to be at the bottom here. Let me actually pull up the window here. Um, go ahead and make sure click here to download. That will download the file. All right. And also you'll need a Google Camera APK. If you guys want Google Camera with Night Sight, go ahead and also download that down here. Click here to download. All right. Don't click on the ads. Um, those are all the files you'll need and put it on your phone. Also, you do need to get the Twerp installer. So go to twerp.me and go to OnePlus 6. And go to primaries and go ahead and grab the latest installer by the version, which will be 3.3.1.2.zip. This is the actual installer that will allow you to permanently install your twerp after installing the ROM. Because it's an AB partition device, you can't just install it permanently with Fastboot. So, what we have to do is um, grab any of these images, so also grab the image 3.3.1-2 the latest image. And we're going to go ahead and use Fastboot to boot Twerp. And then we're going to go ahead and install the firmware, install a, a ROM, boot. Um, and then we'll have to uh, also reboot Twerp and then install the installer. I'll show you all the steps. Um, it's a little bit confusing, but if you, like I said, if you don't do it this way, you're gonna have camera problems, you're gonna have other problems, uh, which I found. And it, trust me, I, I flashed like a dozen ROMs. Same exact camera, uh, video camera bug happened on like a dozen ROMs. Uh, it took me actually like a whole week to figure this out. 
and get it working correctly. Um, you can try the regular method, but I'm telling you, you will have camera video camera problems. If you don't need your video camera working, you, you don't mind all the other bugs you're gonna have, um, go ahead and do the regular method, but it's not gonna be fun. All right, so um, from Twerp, you should have got the image and the installer. Now the installer file, go ahead and put it on your phone. All right, like I showed in the beginning of the video. Uh, all right, so we've got most of this stuff and also you'll need fastboot.zip. Go ahead and download this also. And once you have downloaded fastboot.zip, go ahead and, uh, where is it? Go ahead and double click and extract all into downloads fastboot folder, right? Um, then you'll get a, a folder called fastboot. Um, go ahead and uh, copy over the twerp image file, all right, into the fastboot folder. So you should have downloaded um, um, here and then do a right click copy on, on the actual twerp and go into fastboot and paste it there. So that's, that's the twerp image file we will need to boot twerp uh, for the OnePlus 6. All right, if we have all of this, we're ready to go. Sorry, it's not because my fault, but um, for some reason, these ROMs don't boot unless you actually install it over an original uh, Oxygen OS firmware. Of course, before we begin, I do expect that you have unlocked the bootloader on your OnePlus 6 and installed Twerk. If you don't know how to do that, I do have a full tutorial guide. Go ahead and unlock your bootloader and install Twerp. Just follow the root guide and it will install Twerp. All right, so all the files you should have, um, again, you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven files, right? This is not gonna erase your internal storage, but it's always a good idea to um, back up everything before you do. Um, so let me go ahead and power off. And we're gonna get into Twerp recovery by holding down volume up and the power button. And then go into recovery mode and hit the power button. Now you should be in Twerp recovery. If you're not in Twerp recovery, that means you didn't install the Twerp uh, installer. So you can go ahead and use fast boot commands uh, and boot Twerp. All right. I'm, I'm actually going to do that in later part of the video. If you don't know how to do that, skip forward to that part of it and follow that to boot into Twerp. All right, once in Twerp, we're gonna go ahead and just do a regular wipe. All right, don't worry about there. Next, we're gonna go ahead and install, we're gonna go into our downloads folder. We're gonna go ahead and install the Oxygen firmware, which is the Oxygen, uh, this is the official firmware, OnePlus 6 Oxygen blah blah dot zip. All right, go ahead and confirm to flash. This should take maybe a minute or two. All right, um, I actually had an uh, automatic reboot on. No, 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 I don't want that. Let me just cancel that. All right, next up, we're gonna do a wipe. Um, go to advanced wipe. We're gonna go wipe Dalvik and Arcash, which is just temporary files, all right? We're gonna do that, hit the home button. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the ROM. Now this is the same method for all the custom ROMs. It's not just for Siberia ROM. Um, just follow the same steps. Um, just a different ROM file. This is for all the um, one pluses. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and next install my ROM, which is the Siberia ROM. All right. And very important, we're gonna not install Twerp installer. Um, the reason is that when you flash a stock firmware and you don't boot with the stock recovery, it will not boot. It's some kind of security measure. So what you're gonna do is actually let it boot with the stock recovery, let it boot, which will allow you to boot into the ROM. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and connect it to your computer and boot twerp uh, via fastboot. So this method does require your computer, but like I said, this is the only way I could get actually the video camera, a 4K video camera working flawless on my phone. And also my sound and everything else works, um, you know, uh, works flawless. All right, when that's done, go ahead and reboot system. Do not install, uh, just reboot. And you should now be able to boot whatever ROM you're trying to install. All right, and this is also a great idea if you're installing um, some of the newer ROMs and 
uh, the, when you root it, you had the older firmware. This will also update your system files to the latest firmware. So it'll be compatible with the ROM installing. And this message should also work on other OnePlus phones if you have trouble like getting the video camera working. I think this is the action issue across a lot of the OnePlus devices and also Xiaomi devices. I actually got this method from Xiaomi. Because Xiaomi, you have to install the firmware to get it working correctly. So once you got your ROM booted, you'll see um, you don't have um, G apps, you don't have Play Store, you don't have um, uh, Majisk. So now we're going to go ahead and boot it back into Torp. Once you got it booted first time, you're good to go. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put it back into fast boot mode. So I'm going to go ahead and power off. And I'm going to go ahead and hold down volume up and the power. And you'll be in fast boot mode. Go ahead and connect it to your computer. Now you can go ahead and use uh, Windows, Mac, or uh, Linux because we're just using fast boot. And let me set this right here. All right, next, what you're going to do is go um, to your start and type CMD. This is going to open up a command prompt. Type CMD or what have you, your favorite way. <laughs> I just like to do it this way. I'm going to type CD downloads. Go ahead and type CD fast boot. And you're going to go ahead and type fast boot space boot space type twerp TWRP and hit the tab key. And it should fill it out for you. Um, so this is going to go ahead and hit enter. This is going to boot uh, you into um, Torp Recovery, as you can see here. And we're going to be able to um, basically finish our process without the computer from here on. All right, if you get an error here uh, with the fast boot, maybe you might not have the drivers installed correctly. So check your drivers. You'll need to install the ADB drivers, which I also have on my site under rooting um, Android USB drivers. You can go ahead and um, grab this one. This is an auto uh, installer. If you get an error, then you don't have drivers, then go ahead and just download this and uh, run it. All right, now you don't need your computer anymore. Let's go ahead and do the rest without this. All right, next you're gonna go ahead and go to uh, install and you're gonna go ahead and install the G apps. And uh, I gotta turn off that reboot thing. It's wanna keep rebooting. All right, this will give you the Play Store, obviously. And we're gonna go ahead and install Magis so we have a root. And also we're gonna go ahead and install the Twerp installer um, so we have Twerp um, installed permanently. And after that, you'll be able to access Twerp without your computer. Oops, hit the home button. Go to install. Um, install the Majesk next. See this one, I, I left that on. Because usually I install everything all at once. And I, because I know um, I don't have to wait for each one, but I want to show you each step. So that's why I'm doing one by one here. All right, hit the home button, install. Now you'll need the Twerp installer. This will install Twerp. Uh, recovery permanently on your phone back again. You have to do this every time you install a new ROM. Otherwise, you'll get the stock recovery and you're gonna have to use Fastboot to boot into Torp if you wanna make changes. That's all done. Uh, we should be good to go. Hit do not install reboot and we should be good to go. I think so. So yeah, this process may seem complicated but um, it might actually save you a lot of headaches. Like I said, it took me a week to figure this out to get my video camera working. Basically what would happen is I would run these um, custom rounds for like, like a day. And then at the end of the day, the video camera would break on every custom ROM. And I realized that's what's wrong. It's somehow missing some of the files from um, the stock firmware or something. So now you should be able to log into your Play Store and double check um, your um, double check your mobile data is working. I actually had to swap it out because uh, I was installing ROMs on two of my phones and I didn't have a number to receive calls. Um, but check, it should be working fine. Mine works fine. I already checked it, so I'm not going to show you. But, um, you should have Play Store. Uh, next, you can go ahead and install. Um, go ahead and install the G Cam, which is the Google uh, camera. All right, this will give you Google Camera with Night Sights. And works 
beautifully. All right, and also um, you should also have the OnePlus camera. This ROM does come with it, so you don't have to install it separately. All right, video, 4K works flawless. Actually, the 4K video was just a, such an important um, point because I would take this custom ROM that I install on my OnePlus 6 and I'm going to my daughter's golf tournament and my video camera doesn't work. So I was like, what the hell is going on? So it took me quite a while to figure this out. But this is where you have video camera working. Now with other ROMs, video camera actually worked in the beginning, but as soon as I started installing a bunch of uh, apps, um, it, it would not work. It would stutter or it would create these really large files. And I no longer have problems, any of those weird problems. And sometimes the sound would be low on these custom ROMs. I would have none of those problems installing it like this. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So you should have a fully rooted phone. Let me just connect it to the internet real quick. Oh yeah, another thing, also data works flawless using this method. Um, sometimes you lose, you know, 4G LTE data won't work or something and uh, or Wi-Fi calling or blah, blah, blah. But I got everything working including Wi-Fi calling. So if you don't see Majisk, this can happen. Simply go re, um, restart, go back into your recovery. Now you can easily um, set up uh, your power buttons real quick. Go to system, go to buttons, go to power menu, and go ahead and add uh, advanced restart. Oh, it's already there, sorry. So you can go ahead and go to advanced reboot and go straight into recovery. So this last step, we're simply gonna go ahead and reinstall Majisk because a lot of these newer ROMs, they do require um, two several installs before you actually see it um, installed correctly. So you should now boot into Torp. And as you can see now, my Torp is installed correctly. I'm gonna go ahead and install Majisk. And this should give me full root finally. Yeah, it's not bad, it took a while, but um, like I said, this will save you a lot of headaches, uh, especially if you're having trouble installing a custom ROM. And um, this way it will boot the first time. You'll have your camera working, you'll have your sound working, you won't have extra bucks. And for some, some odd reason, that seems to be the case with all of the Android 9.0 Pi ROMs on the OnePlus 6. Uh, if you don't install over the stock Oxygen OS firmware, you lose or you, it's, Get, starts getting buggy. Yeah. So now you can see it's booted. Looking well. Looking good. And Majisk is still on there. Oh, there it is. There's my Majisk. All right, do the safety net check. Say yes. And boom, shakalaka. Oops. There. Boom. Um, You can update the Majisk manager if you want. That's up to you. Um, that's pretty much it. This is how you install a custom ROM correctly for Android 9.0 ROMs. Um, if you're having trouble using the regular method, definitely try this. This will get everything working that you need, all the basic stuff uh, without the bugs. Anyway, guys, I know it took a long time. Just rewatch the video or you can just follow along when you install a ROM on your OnePlus 6. If you follow it step by step, you'll be able to install any custom ROM and make it run more flawless. Oh, flawless with the video camera working. Have a great day, and as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.